Okay, so we're going to now look at the stuff we need for exercise 2c, which is to do with completing the square. So completing the square means putting a quadratic into either this form of x plus a squared plus b or a brackets x plus b squared plus c. The key thing is that the quadratic has just got one value, not one value, but x just appears once in this. You may also see some alternative ways of this being written. You may see it as like a uh, b minus x plus a squared or something like c minus a brackets x plus b squared you could have it with negatives as well like that okay so i'm going to have a look at a couple of things here to see if we can explain why completing the square will work so first of all we're going to expand expand x plus 9 squared so it's going to be x plus 9 x plus 9 so i would get x squared plus at the end i know i would have an 81 and I would also have a 9x and a 9x, which together would give me 18x. OK, and so let's try it with x minus 5 as well. So I'm going to have x minus 5, x minus 5, and we'll explain why we're doing this in a second. So I know I'd get the x squared at the beginning and I'd get the 25 at the end. I'd then have a minus 5x and a minus 5x, which is a minus 10x. So the couple of things that I notice here is that this middle bit that I've got is related to this bit by being doubled. This middle bit that I've got here is related to this bit by being doubled. And also something I notice is I get this extra bit of the squaring at the end. I get a plus 81 and I get a plus 25 here. So I'm going to try and now go from something that is written a bit like this which is my x squared plus 12x, and I want to put it back into a different kind of form that we've got here. So in this particular scenario that I've got here, the 12x, the plus 12x, is similar to these bits that I've got here. And to try and put it back into something like, like this, you should notice that the coefficient of x when we put it back in was halved. So I know it's going to be something like x plus 6 all squared. But remember when you squared these things that we got here, we had these bits I've put in red loops. You get this extra 81 and this extra 25, which came from these bits being squared. So when I expand this, I'm going to have an extra 36. And I want to get rid of that extra 36 because there is no 36 on this side. So I will get rid of it by subtracting 36. Let's just see if that works, OK? Let's expand this x plus 6 squared. So we'll do x plus 6, x plus 6, and then we've got the minus 36. Well, I know there's going to be the x squared. Whoops, that should be a plus. There's also going to be the 6 times 6 to give me the 36. And I've got the 6x and the 6x, which is 12x. Ah, so I did get this extra plus 36, which is why I've also included this minus 36. So the plus 36 and the minus 36 will cancel out. And I do indeed end up with x squared plus 12x. So it looks like what we need to do to complete the square is we halve the x coefficient. And then we subtract that halved value squared. So look what we did here. We halved the x coefficient and then we subtracted that halved value squared. So let's try it with some other ones. So I'm going to do x squared plus 8x. So I'm going to half the x coefficient. It's going to be x plus 4. It's got to be squared. And I'm going to subtract that halved value squared. So I'm going to subtract 16. I'm not going to do all of these by checking them, but I know that x plus 4 squared would be x squared plus 8x plus 16. And I've got the minus 16, so I do get x squared plus 8x. OK, let's try it with another one. So I'm going to half the x coefficient. So half of minus 2 is minus 1. And I'm going to subtract that half value squared. Well, negative 1 squared is just 1. So I'm going to subtract 1. I'll check this one then. So x minus 1 squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And I can remove that one. So we get x squared minus 2x. OK, so this one's a bit different because it's got an extra bit here. It's got this plus 7. Don't worry about the plus 7 for now. Instead, we are just going to focus on this part of the quadratic that we've got. So 
I will just start off by doing x minus half of that x coefficient, which is going to be x minus 3 squared. And remember, I have to counteract it by subtracting the thing I've just halved squared. So I'm going to subtract 9 because 9 is 3 squared. And notice I've still got the plus 7 here, so I'm going to have to keep that plus 7. So I get x minus 3 squared minus 2, because minus 9 plus 7 is minus 2. So that's it in completed square form that we've got. And if you were to expand all of this, you would come up with this thing that we've got here. So we've got a couple of trickier ones here. This time, there is a coefficient in front of the x squared. And the way that we do this is we, first of all, we just factorise out 2 from the x squared and x terms. So I have 2x squared plus 12x plus 7. And we're going to factorise out a 2, but I'm just going to save a bit of time by just doing it to the bits I'm highlighting in green. So it would be 2 brackets, x squared plus 6x plus 7. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to complete the square, but I'm just going to complete the square on this bit. So I'm now going to complete the square on the bit that I've highlighted in that red pen. So I would have two brackets, x plus 3 squared, because I halved the 6x, and I would minus the 3 squared, which is 9. And then I've still got the plus 7. So this bit is this bit with the square completed. So I would get, multiplying out by the 2, 2x plus 3 squared minus 2 times 9, which is minus 18, plus 7. So that is 2x plus 3 squared, and then minus 18 plus 7. Yeah, you can believe it. I'm doing this on a calculator. Minus 11. So you end up with the correct form. This is exactly this form that we've got here. You can see that a is 2, b is 3, and c is minus 11. So we're going to try another one. This time it's in a reversed kind of completed square form. You've got this being subtracted, and that's to do with the fact that this x squared bit has been has got a negative coefficient. So I like to start off by first of all writing it in the normal order. So we have minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. And in this one I factorised out 2 from the x squared and the x terms. So this time I am going to factorise out minus 3 from the x squared and x terms. So I would have minus 3 x squared. I think really carefully here, because I want it to be a plus 6x. So it's definitely going to be an x and a 2. And in order for it to be a plus, it would have to be a minus there, because you would have negative 3 multiplied by negative 2x. And that is then going to have the plus 5 afterwards like this. I'm just going to complete the square on this thing that I have. So it's going to be minus 3, and then I'm going to complete the square by doing x minus 1 squared by halving that 2x and subtracting 1, plus 5 equals 0. And I'm just going to keep working on this by expanding. So I would have minus 3, x minus 1 squared. Negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3, plus 5 equals 0. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So I've written that first, minus 3x minus 1 squared equals 0, which is in this form that we've got here. You can see in that form that a is equal to 8, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 1. So I've got a couple of them that you can have a go at here, and then you're going to try exercise 2c. Pause the video and have a go at these, and I'm going to go and do these in just one moment. Okay. So I have 3x squared minus 18x plus 4 equals 0. Not equals 0. Did I have that on the previous one? I don't know why I've put equals 0 on any of these. Didn't really need this anywhere. Good, I didn't do it on the previous one. <laughs> so I'm going to actually start off by factorising out the 3. So I'm going to have 3 brackets x squared minus 6x plus 4. And I'm going to complete the square on this bit in red. So that's 3 x minus 3 squared minus 9. I've halved the 6 to get 3, and then I've squared it to get the 9, plus 4. 
I'm going to expand the brackets, so that's 3x minus 3 squared minus 27 plus 4. So that's 3x minus 3 squared minus 23. And that's in completed square form that it wanted, where a is 3, b is minus 3, and c is minus 23. Okay, so this one's got the negative at the beginning, so I'm going to start off by writing it as minus 5x squared plus 20x plus 3 equals 0. And then I'm going to factorise out the minus 5. So that would be x squared. I know there's going to be something to do with a 4x, but I need it to be 20, so it's also going to have to be a negative to get that. Plus 3 equals 0. And so I'm going to complete the square on that bit that I have. So that's going to be minus 5 x minus 2 squared, half of the 4, minus 2 squared, which is 4, and then I have the plus 3. So expanding that out, I have minus 5 x minus 2 squared, minus 5 times minus 4 is 20, plus 3. So writing that in the right order, we have 23 minus 5 brackets x minus 2 squared is equal to, why am I saying it's equal to 0? Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So silly, I did that last time and everything. These things are all just equal to each other. Don't do what I've done with making everything equal to zero. I didn't say it was equal to zero, so don't do it. Okay, so have a go at exercise 2C.